Hey Stalker, Evan from Stalk Music Musician here, and today I just wanted to bring you a little public service announcement. Reason 11 is not going to work with Logic Pro X at launch. This has me really disappointed because the main other DAW that I've been using besides Reason is Logic Pro. Now the reason this isn't going to work is that initially Reason is only going to be ported as a VST. I believe even a VST3, although it might also work in VST2, but I'm pretty sure it only is working as a VST3 initially. It's definitely not working as an AU, which is the type of plugin that Logic runs. Now this makes sense to me. I'm not upset per se because every other DAW out there uses VSTs. So, you know, follow the biggest part of the market. I'm sure this is a difficult complex programming thing. You got to go where the bigger side of the market is. Um, Propeller Heads, or now Reason Studios, has promised that an AU version is in the pipeline. They're working on it, and that Reason 11 will eventually work for Logic. I believe that, but I'm also like a little burned by them saying, oh, well, the performance update to allow you to run VSTs within Reason is just around the corner. And it took, I don't know, it took way longer than anticipated. Months and months and months more time than originally estimated. So we know we're getting a version of Reason 11 that will eventually work in Logic, but who knows how long it's going to take. I haven't tried running it in a VST wrapper, which is sort of a workaround. I don't know if that'll work with Logic once Reason 11 is open and released to the public. I'll test this out for you guys and let you know. But in the meantime, I just wanted to let everybody in Logic Land know that if you're thinking about buying Reason 11 so you can make them work together, as of now, as of the launch of Reason 11, you can't do that. All right, if you want more great Reason 11 news, be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you'd like me to talk about for Reason 11. Thanks.